everyone welcome back to another video today I thought I'd just bring you along on a little bit of like a daily slash last couple of days holiday prep if you don't know I am going to Disney World on Tuesday it's currently Saturday and I'm so excited so as you would have seen from the montage this morning I had a hairdresser appointment first thing I had my appointment at 8 a.m. and I've had it really really lightened up um I've had balayage put through but I asked for it pretty high because I just wanted to feel like different I wanted to feel blondie I've had little like pieces put in at the front um to like frame my face and now I'm like I don't know if I'm unsure about them but it is what it is I'll get used to it um I'm sorry I'm starting the video with no makeup on I never bother really wearing makeup to the hairdresser because like when they wash your hair like you just end up with like a line don't you um so yeah I went to the hairdresser and then after the hairdressers I went to the nail shop and I got my nails done for Disney can you see so I've got Mickey's trousers or like Mickey a mini inspired one but saucer and Mickey inspired one blue with the white sparkles and then this one I don't know how well you're seeing these um this one has got like a little mickey with a bow on and some little white stars and i've just gone for like little mickeys on the on my thumb so i'm really happy with those i'm all ready for disney look at my cool nails and my blonde hair what am i doing i'm really hot guys it's literally what is it 22 degrees right now in florida it's going to be 36 degrees and i am hot right now i don't know how i'm gonna cope but We'll, we will adjust, we'll just adjust, won't we? I don't know, I'm just so excited. I am so excited to be going back to Disney World and like having my nails done, I was literally sitting there like, because it just is just so real, isn't it? Like, I wouldn't be getting these nails if I was not going to Disney. So yeah, basically I've just gone and grabbed my camera. Um, we've been sat outside, I haven't eaten anything yet today and it is quarter to four. I did get a frappe from Costa and I did have a little breakfast bar thing so i have eaten that but i mean like being it's four o'clock i've not really had breakfast or lunch and yeah i've got a banging headache like this eyeball gives me such jip whenever i don't get enough sleep this eyeball just really really hurts and like throbs and it's yeah not a fun time especially like when it's sunny i'm just like ugh, struggling outside but buzz and ollie are outside we've blown up buzz's little little small paddling pool he does have a better one but i think we're gonna kind of save it for summer um since we're only here for a couple more days now so yeah we've just blown up his little three ring paddling pool and he's just out there filling it up with pebbles because that's his favorite activity is to just play with the pebbles and balls that we have out there so he's out there he's looking super cute i'll show you him in a minute ollie's just chilling um yeah and i'm gonna go and have some lunch and then we've got lots of things to crack on with so i have pretty much like got all of the stuff together that i want to pack for me i was gonna do a, a like a dedicated pack with me video but at this point i just think no you i did a pack with me for buzz so you know you can see like my organization and stuff in that but i will show you like general things that i'm taking i just don't think i'm gonna have time to like film and edit and everything a pack with me so i just wanted to do like a little like bring you along vlog because i've not done a, a vlog in ages it's just been like sit down and like just disney stuff and yes this is still disney but yeah it's my life and i'm gonna bring you along with me ignore the mess of our living room and everything about it all you can about what have you made? here's my boo boo oh. here's my little nemo go what have you put in your paddling pool it's filthy dirty already are you a bit hot and bothered <laughs> Or is this just splishy splash water? Ooh. <laughs> you gonna get in? Do you want some help? You got hiccups? You're going. <gasps> That's what you're doing. <gasps> you had enough. Look. Should we put the balls in? 
Mummy's still not made some food yet, Buzz. She's being a silly billy, isn't she? My really healthy lunch, just a normal cheese sandwich, tomatoes, strawberries. Why can't I think of the word and some crisps? I mean, it's not that unhealthy, is it? But it's nice white bread and crisps, so whatever. Yum, yum, yum. I wonder how much of this will get stolen from me. Okay, I've just come up to the office because I have got a couple of last orders to make. I've literally just got three orders I think to make, well two orders. One of them is for a pair of wedding shoes and the other one I've still got my patch test on from my patch test. <laughs> um, but hopefully that will come away soon, I'm going to have a good scrub of it later. Um, but yeah, I've got a pair of wedding shoes to make and then another order was for two snack boxes. So I'm just going to make those. I have actually made the snack boxes before, but I dropped them on our garage floor like before I packed them. So obviously they had no like protection on or anything. And I broke them both. So that's great. So I'm remaking them and then we'll get those to the parcel shop. Um, I also want to make some stuff for me. So... I have got these colour changing Starbucks cups and yeah, I think I'm going to use some of them to take to Disney. I think I want to do a Disney World Castle cup and I think I definitely want to take a Buzz Lightyear cup as well. I don't know why I really want to. Um, and then I need to have a little think of if I'm going to do any others or anything else I might want to take. Um, obviously, like... I make this kind of stuff um, and it's my business and I love it um, and it just doesn't feel right to go to Disney without taking stuff for me but I just never end up getting to make stuff for me so I'm gonna try to. As well as that last night I started making um, basically I want to decorate our window in the resort so I've decided to make these little sugar cookie um, mickeys um and i've just cut them and like printed them out of card um and i've got the holes in the ears so i think i'm gonna thread like the string through there and like make a banner so i'm gonna cut all different colors um of these and then make a little banner that i can hang up in our window just as a cute little way to decorate the room potentially i might do something like celebrating 30th or something because it's ollie's 30th birthday when we're out there or first visit because it's buzzy's first visit i don't know i might do something a bit more personal like that but if not i might just do this little sugar cookie mickey banner um just as something cute to do ollie's probably like why are you doing it but i want to and yeah i just think it's cute but i ran out of cards so well i couldn't find my card but ollie said he found it and i just also ordered some now so i've got lots of cards so yeah, I'm going to crack on with all these fun activities I've got to do. So it's currently 22 past four. Um, Ollie has got some work to do as well, I think. Um, but yeah, oh, it's so warm outside. I've still got this headache. I took ibuprofen and it's not really helping. But um, it, sometimes I just get it where like the only way to help it is to just sleep. Um, I do have migraine prescription tablets, but I think I've literally only got one left. And I've not yet sorted out signing up to the right doctor and yeah, so I can't get new ones yet. Um, so I don't want to use it unnecessarily. I've just turned on the computer and it's come up with a thing saying apps removed while resetting your PC and it's like all the software that I use but it seems to still be opening. I was a bit worried there, like where's everything gone but it still seems to be there so hopefully it is. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll show you maybe once I've made the orders. And maybe when I'm doing the banner. Um, but yeah. We're getting so close to holiday now, guys. I think I can also do the attestation forms now as well. So yeah, maybe I'll do those later on today or tomorrow. Um, I don't actually know what they entail. But yeah. Let's go. Okay, I've cut a few different sh coloured sugar cookie mini not minis mickeys um i don't think i've done enough though but i'm running out of ideas of what color i don't know why i did an orange one as well where's that oh is that under here there we go so yeah i don't know if i've done enough for it to be like a banner that goes across a door or a window or if i need to do more maybe i'll do like one more um but yeah i think i'm probably just gonna take them in a little pile and then take the string or ribbon and like thread it on my there because I just feel like it will transport easier that way. Um, but yeah, so unnecessary, but I'm happy I'm doing it. I was going to do one with characters and maybe I still will, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, it's just a cute little thing to do. Um, 
for fun. Right, right, it's a little bit later now. Um, I have been, um, I made the orders I needed to make, um, aside for one thing that I still need to do. I have cut all of the Mickeys for my banner. Um, I just need to find the string. I know we have about a million balls of string. So random, but we just seem to have so many balls of string and I need to find one. I have made myself four cups so far. I think I think that's like a good number. So firstly, I have made this one, which is a Sorcerer Mickey one. It matches my nails so well, I love it. Um, and yeah, I've just done little fireworks around it. Nemo one, just because I freaking love this design, I think I will keep this one for me. Um, I just really love it. And I've done it on this confetti cup, if you can see. So these are one of the ones that if you pour water in, the little flecks that are white, they go all different colours. And this one is a colour changing cup. Um, and if you put ice cold drink in, it changes colour. I'm not entirely sure what colour this one changes to, but that will be a surprise. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got a Nemo one, which I do love that. A um, castle cup, which is so cute. It's in the... Uh, pink colour um, and then yeah just got little little stars around it and I just really like that I had to have a castle cup. Lastly I just really wanted to make a Buzz Lightyear cup. I just really wanted to. I just think he looks really cool so I've made him and then I just love what the Pixar ball looks like so random but yeah I just popped a little Pixar ball on there as well. Um, yeah I love it. I think it's really really cool. Um, as you guys probably know, my little boy is called Buzz. Not named after Buzz Lightyear, however, we are fully embracing it for this trip. He's got a little Buzz Lightyear outfit and yeah, I just wanted to make a Buzz cup. So I have made four cups to take. I was, there was like a list of things I wanted to make. I wanted to make some t-shirts for myself. I wanted to make all sorts of bits and bobs, but actually the time's come around and I just, to me, I love it. I love doing it, but it also is like work to me. So it's like, I kind of already feel on the holiday mode, but um, yeah, we'll see. If there is time for me to make more things before we go, I will, but it's just tricky because Ollie works from this desk as well, so on Monday he'll be working from here. I would like to be able to edit this video and get that up for you guys, um, either whilst we're away or before we go. Um, my laptop is currently like out of use, it is broken. So um, yeah, it's just like, picking and choosing what I can get done in the time that we have left um, but yeah I'm really happy with those so even if they are all we take I'm happy with that I am currently sat here with a um, pint of pims <laughs> in this little hard rock cafe glass that we got from Copenhagen we never normally use this glass but I thought you know it gives me holiday vibes um, so now I have just sat down to write um, my friend tour and her husband are getting married out there and we're going to be seeing them over there. So I've got her a little happily ever after card which I thought was perfect for the occasion. Um, so I'm going to write that out. I have just um, written, we've got, I got these luggage tags. Um, which again, I was going to like personalise and do stuff but not tags, sorry, luggage like straps um, and I was going to personalise them um, so they're really super easy for us to spot on the conveyor belt but I just haven't um, but there are little address labels on them so I have just filled those out. Um, are you upstairs? I heard my, my Ollie come upstairs but maybe not um, so I'm also going to sit and write whilst we're out there it is Ollie's birthday it's his 30th so I have got him a card here which is super duper cute so I'm gonna write that and then this one which I will write and then I will I won't like block it and I'll get Buzzy to help me somehow with that but I just love this photo of them from a recent wedding they're just so beautiful my boys I love them um, so yeah, I'm just going to do those little bits of admin that I have been like knowing I need to do. I think just little jobs like that, there's so many little jobs like that like hanging over me and once they're all kind of tied up I'll feel a lot more like under control but um, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, it's a lot later now, it is currently 11 o'clock. I've just been sat downstairs having a little cup of tea with Ollie. Oh my gosh, when I put my hair in a ponytail, this looks weird, doesn't it, my new hair? Oh, I don't know. Oh well. Um, I did not think about that because then when I put it up in like a, I look like the dude off, um, 
What's it? Like, when Johnny Depp, Fantastic Beast guy, doesn't he have a silver stripe? Oh dear. Sorry. Um, I was thinking I was going to go to bed, but I think actually I'm going to do a little bit of something because see the current situation. Clothes I've sorted out. Some of Ollie's clothes that I've sorted out. Bazia's suitcase is in the wardrobe. Um, I want to triple check that we can definitely take a large suitcase each. Um, because if we can, that is the plan. But um, I think what I'm actually going to do is just spread our stuff out over the three suitcases. So not like necessarily one for me, one for Ollie, one for Buzz. Just all of our stuff in um, in all of them. So that if one goes missing or for whatever reason, you know, we're all got a bit of something. We're all okay. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm only going to take two lounge flies, um, which, if you don't know, are a brand that make Disney backpacks. Um, because they are not the most practical of bags. I do love them, but they're not the most practical of bags. On the, like, putting them, by putting them in a suitcase and stuff. So I think I'm going to wear one to the airport. Um, and then the other one I'm going to put in my case and just hope that it's okay. Um, and I'm going to use it as like kind of like a packing cube. I'm going to put stuff on it. This bloody patch test. It looks like, um, like a birthmark or something, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so... <sighs> I definitely wanted to do like an organised pack with me video, but that's not going to happen. We've not got the time. Um, so yeah. Let's get stuff sorted. The room is looking a little bit crazy. Like we've got clean wash in here that was done today that needs putting away. And then all of this craziness. So yeah, let's get on it. I just need to figure out what to do. <laughs> so I have got in my comfies and the first job I'm going to do is look at my pin collection. So I've got quite a few pins all of these guys which I know like to serious pin collectors this isn't a lot so a long time ago I did sort through the ones I thought I would want to keep and the ones I thought I would want to trade so I know for sure everything on here I want to keep so these are obviously just the um like button badges that you get um that you can ask for when you go to Disney or Universal if you're celebrating anything or yeah you can get those for free so I've got those from our trip um, but then on here I do have some really nice ones that I like. So Ollie got me this one as part of an advent. Stitch was one of my fave characters. So a little Christmas stitch. Um, this I got for myself from Shop Disney. It was in the sale and it's like the um, Beauty and the Beast rose. This one um, was a gift on my wedding day from my nephew. And this was also a gift on my wedding day from my other nephew. Um, and then... These were our 2020, um, I just got, my brother actually got me a lanyard um, set that came with these and a lanyard. So yeah, I think Ollie was like, oh, I'll trade, trade three of them and just keep one. But I actually just like having all of them, um, even though they're all pretty much the same. I just, you know, we went in 2020. This was one that Ollie got me for in the advent as well. So it says 2007 and that was the year that I went for the first time. Um, and he found that on eBay and I just think that's so special that he got me that. Um, and then the one next to it, the um, Princess and the Frog one, I got on our wedding trip because we stayed at Port Orleans French Quarter and that pin was released at the time for Mardi Gras and it was like one of their like um, limited edition kind of ones. So I thought it was cute. And then the little donut mi Minnie Mouse was my first ever pin and... Um, Someone really kindly sent me that um, from Facebook. So yeah, I thought I'd keep that on forever because it was my first ever one. This one Ollie got me as part of the advent as well. Um, if you can see, it's a Cogsworth and it was from 1994, which is the year I was born. So yeah, they're all really just lovely special pins. And then yeah, just a couple of Belle ones again from the advent and stuff. But I love Belle, she's my favourite. So I definitely want to keep all of those. And then I think this is the one that I decided... I wanted to trade all of these guys. Um, now I do like the Daisy and Donald. So maybe I will keep those, the little surfer ones. Oh, there's a moth flying around. We've had the windows open today because it's been really hot, but it just lets in all the creatures, doesn't it? But I think all of the others, um, 
I just, I'm not fussed about. This one I actually traded with a cast member, but I don't think it's a genuine Disney one. Um, I don't know. Anyway. Um, and then these ones are ones I think I do want to keep. So I don't know why they're on there so randomly. I think Ollie was helping me with this, but yeah, I think I do like these. It's like a little saucer and Mickey surfboard matches my nails actually. Um, and yeah, I really like the Donald firefighter and yeah, I think I will keep most of these, although I'm not I don't know, it's really hard to know what ones to like decide if you want to try and decide to like collect a set or anything like that. But yeah, I really like the flounder. Um, I like like the traditional characters that you know, you know. Um, and then this one as well, I think, I think I would keep all of these. I remember getting this one in Epcot and thinking it was really cool. Um, but I don't know why. But yeah, it, I mean it is cool, but I remember being like really happy with it. Um, and then these I got in a mystery pack when I was over there um it was like the hugging range so we've got a Dumbo one and a Frozen one and then these are Jungle Cruise ones that I bought on Shop Disney over here in the sale um yeah a little Cars one so I think I'd keep most of those um and then yeah so I think the ones that I think this is plenty to take to trade isn't it like that is quite a lot um so I might take off the Donald and Daisy and keep those ones for now I don't know I might have a little look and swap around and to be honest I could probably just take them on this couldn't I or should I put them on all on the lanyard see the thing is it's like I like the ones I like I don't know because it's like I guess you only take the ones that you want to trade to the park don't you because it's like I almost want to wear the nice ones so I'm like showing them off but A I have lost a couple of pins wearing them on the lanyard you do have to be careful um, and B there's no point just taking that extra like weight so I guess I will only take the ones that I intend to try and trade. Okay so I've just double, triple, quadruple checked that Buzz definitely does get um, a luggage allowance as a lap infant on BA and it does say he gets a 23 kilogram checked bag so yeah I think we are going to take three full-size suitcases which may seem a little bit crazy um but just with all the nappies and everything and then if we do any shopping out there and stuff like it just seems to make sense it might be quite difficult to kind of have three cases and his push chair like getting about but We'll be able to get a trolley at the airport and um, yeah, we'll, we'll manage. Um, if I pack and there's like way too much room, then I will maybe try and keep it into two, but I don't think it will be because Ollie and I do normally use our cases. So yeah, I think we're gonna use three cases. I've got this huge um, bag thing here. It's not a packing cube, it's something that um, my weighted blanket actually got delivered in um, however it has fitted pretty much most of my outfits in so that's really handy I've got that one there and then I've got this one here which I'm going to put in another case um, and it's got an outfit for each park so if a bag does go missing I have got an outfit for each park <laughs> in another bag um, yeah I've never really split my luggage like that before but yeah, we're going to just do it. Got my pyjamas again. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to split them up. So I'll have some in one bag and then some others in another bag. I mean, it's not the end of the world, is it? If I go without them, if I don't know why I'm acting like one of our cases is going to get lost. It's not good vibes, posy vibes. But yeah, just kind of showing you how I am splitting the luggage into different cases. Here's my stack of ears. I think in this cardboard box, I've got three sets of ears, like kind of more fragile ones. And then I've got a stack here and these have all been matched to outfits, not the alien ones, they're for Ollie or Buzz. <laughs> um, but yeah, this isn't all of my ears. I have just chosen the ones that I definitely want to take. So yeah, we're going to pop these in. I might try and put them in a little bag or packing cube or something, because um, I don't want them to get ruined picked up a couple of these in Asda for our room for a certain someone. The 
find where our like travel stuff is because like my um not actual real gopro but gopro type camera um if i was going to take one and if not i've got like a pouch that you can put your phone in to take it in the water but again i don't know where those things are so i'm going to ask ollie um but also yeah like our plug adapters and stuff but i did pick this one up from amazon this week so it's one that you can see it like has a us plug in the back and then it has um turns one plug into two English ones and three USBs. So I thought that's really super handy for like, you know, it means we don't have to take as many plugs for like chargers and stuff, like phone chargers. Um, but then I've also got the actual plugs for like my straighteners and things like that. Morning, it is now Sunday. I didn't really like finish off yesterday evening because I ended up being up until like half one, two, maybe half two, I don't know, doing odd bits and bobs and just, downloading stuff onto Ollie's like tablet for buzz and things like that there's still more of that stuff I need to do but I just wanted to kind of get a bit of a head start on that stuff head start we're leaving the house tomorrow so not so much a head start is it um but yeah we're just about to pop to the shop um basically our lawn on our front and back garden um Ollie <laughs> bought a manual lawnmower so it's like not electric not petrol it's literally just powered by you pushing it it's basically just like as you push it the blade spins and like chops off the grass it looks like such hard work um but ollie was adamant that he was going to get one that was like you know efficient in terms of like not buying petrol for it and not having to plug it in and not it not being noisy etc etc so he bought it, I don't know if he regrets it, he definitely wouldn't admit it if he did. But yeah, so he says that it's not that easy to do if there's like any kind of uneven ground. So um, he's been gradually like laying soil over the patches that like are a little bit lower because um, he's looked up that's the thing to do. Um, so he did that a couple of weeks ago and now he wants to do it again and also with sand this time because apparently that's what you do. I don't know. So we're going to B&Q to get sand and mud so he can lay it down whilst we're away and then whilst we're away it can be like settling into the ground etc um so yeah me and buzz are just coming along for the ride just to get out of the house might see what other shops are about and pop in places sausages for lunch get something for lunch for us to bring back and do ollie will carry on talking to you about all the things that need to happen today um. And the Disney, 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 yay, Disney! Hey! I bet he didn't say anything, did he? But yeah, just, I can't believe tomorrow we are doing our tests and tomorrow we are going to the hotel. Tomorrow is our pre-travel day. Pre-travel day! I've never had a pre-travel day because we've never stayed at a hotel before. It does include travelling. It does include travelling, yeah, because we've got to do the drive to the airport, which, what did you say, is about three hours? Three and a half. Three and a half. Oh, I was so excited. Um, but yeah, today is probably just going to be another just me chatting to you, telling you what I'm up to. Um, but yeah, what do you think of my hair? I think I do like it. It's very different, isn't it? It's so much lighter. I mean, don't tell me if you don't like it because, yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, that's all I've got to say. I'm very excited just got home um ollie is taking buzz up for his nap hopefully he'll go down because he did have he did fall asleep in the car for like 10 minutes and sometimes that really throws his nap off um but i've just quickly ran to audi and bought some burgers and some burger buns and some halloumi and um yeah, we've got like salady bits so we're gonna have a little burger lunch we've said we might get a little indian takeaway from the dinner tonight as well which will be really nice because yeah we've kind of been running our food down in preparation for going away so um yeah we don't have lots and lots in meals right now um so yeah i'm gonna make that and then crack on with the rest of the to-do list i've just ordered on the same day delivery which is mad considering i ordered it like at like half 11 um some sd cards and 
waterproof pouch on my phone because I don't know where the one that I had before has gone. And also my SD cards. Um, I corrupted a load of them by accident um, ages ago now um, by deleting the footage off incorrectly and that's been fine whilst I've been at home and had my laptop and stuff and I've just been able to um, kind of stick to the same memory card all the time and just like make sure I'm clearing it really often um, so I can keep using the same one. However, I'm not gonna have the option to like back stuff up in Florida, which I really hope <laughs> the memory cards will work okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna have the option to back stuff up because my laptop is broken. So I've bought a couple of extra because the one I've got will fill up, you know? So I've done that. I can't believe how cheap memory cards I've got these days. They used to be so expensive, but they've really come down in price. Um, but yeah, I just, I actually like cried in the car a little bit, <laughs> like teared up at the thought of the fact that we're going away. I'm so sorry if you're watching this and like don't care because I know it's all I'm talking about. When I get back, I'm sure normal life and like house, like DIYs and stuff will resume. But yeah, for now, it's kind of just so exciting. So yeah, I hope you appreciate that and I hope you don't mind <laughs> me going on about it. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Let's make a lunch. I'm very, very almost packed now. Buzz has only just woken up from his nap. Well, we went and woke him up because he wasn't, uh, hadn't woke up on his own yet at like half four. So um, yeah, he hadn't even had lunch yet. Like, cause he went down. He normally naps at like 11, but he was super tired. So he went down like a bit later when we got back um, and he didn't want food. Like he'd had a snack and everything. So now I guess we're just gonna give him like dinner. And then if he wants something a little bit later, we'll give him like a supper. I don't know. But anyway, um, he's downstairs with Ollie. They're just hanging out, having dinner. Well, Buzz is having dinner. Ollie and I are gonna have a Indian takeaway tonight and I'm really really excited for that I love a good curry um and it just feels like holiday has started so yeah very almost finished packing um I didn't show you as much as I thought just because I don't know it's kind of just a bit repetitive and it's like not nice and organized because I'm kind of splitting everything across the three cases like I'd said um so yeah, I just want to end this now because I want to edit it and get it like ready before I go. So like I can get this up before we go away or whatever. Um, but yeah, I am going to start vlogging the Disney vlogs tomorrow, I think. Um, I don't know what I can say to expect in terms of vlogs whilst we're away. Obviously when I went last time, I vlogged I think every single day. Um, but yeah, this time... We've got a toddler, so who knows what we're going to be able to film and what it's going to be like. We're just going to follow his lead and do our best. I want to document as much as I possibly can, but I want to be in the moment even more. So I'm going to try and find a happy balance between those and hopefully I can kind of bring you along and show you what it's like to travel with a toddler to Walt Disney World from the UK. And um, yeah... <laughs> I can't believe we're going. Honestly, I can't believe the time is finally here. So yeah, I will start a new vlog tomorrow, starting with our tests, I suppose, first thing in the morning. Um, so fingers crossed everything for them goes okay. Otherwise, it'll be a very short-lived Disney vlog series. <laughs> and then, yeah, Ollie's got a day of work tomorrow. And then I've got to take Buzz to get his hair cut and stuff like that. And then in the evening, we're going to head to the hotel, which is about three, three and a half hours away. Um, ready for the flight in the morning on Tuesday. <gasps> oh my gosh. If you have watched any of my like Disney content in the lead up to this holiday, then thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, and I really really hope you stick around to watch the Disney vlogs when they come. Also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I will definitely be doing stories and things like in real time when we're out there and trying to share as much helpful information as possible and just cute little family pictures really. So yeah, if all of that sounds like the kind of thing you're interested in, then please do subscribe to me here on this channel. Follow me over on my Instagram. Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and I will see you very, very soon with my Disney vlogs. Bye guys. I just wanna love you just